Hi, this is Lynn Wright from Glazer Bag Dolls and More. Um, this is part three of Potato Chip Bag Crafts. Uh, I wanted to show you an inspiration for um, some of the colors that I've been doing. This opalescent look is in according to, uh, this is uh, Fun Finds in the Women's Day and some of the other magazines. So uh, opalescent is kind of in, so I'm trying to go a little bit lighter on some of my latest projects. And here we go. I've done a lot of package decoration. Now I'm going to show you how to do this one, which is my favorite. It is so easy. This package ribbon it's made out of a chip bag. It's got that opalescent look. It's another package decoration. Here's a package decoration, or you can use this in a journal. It's a die cut bird that I've covered with um, leftover pieces and the feathers that I made in my previous video. Here's another journal decoration that's uh, made from a feather and I used the opalescent technique um, with the chip bag to make these leaves which are just made out of cardboard it's some cereal box that I glued and cut here's one of my flowers I put it on a paper doily to turn it into another package decoration for your gifts here's one that I did on a die cut using glitter paper a doily, one of my flowers just hot glued together, punched a hole on each side. This is elastic. This colored elastic, you get it at the dollar store, it matches very well. And I just tie it a little bit smaller than the tub or jar that I want to put this around, and it will go around a round gift, like a tin or an Easter basket, um, gift basket, or even, you know, it can go flat on a package also. Anyway, these are these are fun to make, and I really like the way it turned out. Um, here's some cards that I made. From I had these uh, ready-made cards. I think they were uh, from Anna Griffin, and they already had a cutout. And I do need to back them up, but there's the potato chip bag, and it is over a die cut. So it looks like a little stained glass window. I just put some bling. Very simple to make. Very cute. Once again, they go great with gifts. Here's some more with some die cut material and potato chip bag. I added sequins. I added the sequin off cut ribbon. You punch sequins out of that and then they sell it as ribbon at the craft stores. And um, then I did this one with a butterfly die cut. And you know, I did some inking around. And I'm just going to glue paper over this. So you put the die cut on with some double stick tape and then I add some more double stick tape and put the potato chip bag on. I'll just put a line of glue, paper, ready to go into your envelope once you sign it. So there's gift cards. And my friend Suzanne Cordez from the Pink Poodle Group said, Lynn, you need to make tassels. She makes potato chip bag tassels. So this is her idea. So she's making silver tassels, and she had posted them in the group quite a while ago, probably several months ago. And... Um, so she gave me permission to make tassels. So I did this one in alcohol inks and I added a bunch of bling and beads. So there's one. And that's just the straight regular tassel. But then of course, you know, my take on it is I like to melt things. So then I did this one. That's kind of a I call this my boho gypsy tassel. I don't know if you can see this. It's really pretty. I used alcohol inks to dye cheesecloth and I used that instead of lace to give it an extra layer and the bottom is just very lightly you know melted with my uh, air gun my heat gun added some bling and um, I have one more to show you it's a much smaller one but simpler one but once again with the cheesecloth it's a nice small one that I can use on a journal it just for you know, melted the edges so it gets a little crazy look. I kind of like. Um, this heart, this fringed heart, um, Stacy Evans in the Pink Poodle Group. She um, has that group, and you've probably seen her videos. She um, does one with fabrics, and she also did one with paper, and this is mine with a chip bag. That's my take on it. Um, this is using one of my feathers 
And as I said, this is uh, cardboard. It's just glued to cardboard, cut out in a leaf shape. Boom. Easy tag decoration. Really pretty. Some things that I've been using, because, you know, here's your alcohol inks. Um, that's one of the techniques that I use. Um, to the Opalesque, it's a little different. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I use uh, the off cut with the darker colors. It just, boom, it pops. Sequins. And I found in metallic colors, pony beads. Cheap, lightweight. They match so well. They just look great, um, I think, with these projects. If it sounds like I'm gasping for breath, I'm sorry. I do have asthma, and we've had some health issues, and that's why my videos have been uh, late. I am trying to do some catch-up. Now, to get this more opalescent look, what I did is I dropped all over the chip bag the Tim Holtz Pearl, which is a white metallic alcohol ink, and I did the entire uh, bag surface that I'm you know, going to be using the silver. And then I put Pool, which is a light blue, and I have a light pink color. I can't remember what the name of it. It's very light pinkish color. And I used the blending medium, and I just dab, 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 until I got this look. So I get that pearl opalescent look, and I think it's so pretty. I really like it. It's real different. Um, and I used it on the this piece, and I mixed it. This piece has got some and some of the darker. Anyway, what I'm going to show you is some new techniques. Just a couple. Um, so this package bow, as you can tell, is made you know with the fringe, which I've pre-fringed a piece right here. And what I did, let me plug in my tool. I have a new tool here that I've been using with the fringe, and I really like it, and it's bringing up even more ideas. And you may have one of these at home. If not, you can get one of these for just a few dollars, most likely, at your local thrift store. My thrift store, I couldn't believe, had so many of these. I just bought the cheapest one that heated up when it plugged in. It's a curling iron. Yep, a curling iron. This curling iron, as soon as it heats up, is going to give us the curl we need to make the ribbon. It's kind of... It almost reminds me of a palm tree. That's kind of crazy. but um, And basically what I do is I curl it and then I will take it and I will use hot glue and just start rolling it. Rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And once I get a middle part, then I will take it and take the folded edge over and try to go along the bottom by gathering it so that it that it kind of gets wider and you go in a circle. So you just you know fold over and move, fold over and move so that it makes like a flatter circle for the, the poofy part to go on top of. See when it's like this big then you're gonna just add so you could add some straight to it. That would be pretty too. Look at that to finish it off. I really like that but I need to show you the new technique, so <laughs> I'm going to curl it. Um, and while we're... Okay, it's heated up that fast. Okay, once again, you don't want it too hot. And all you have to do is clip it in. Until it curls. You don't want it to over melt. I had them over melt. I like to use it when it's first heating up because this actually gets too hot and it does not have a temperature control. And it will melt that potato chip bag. See, it's starting to curl. There we go. Sorry. There we 
detail. You can also touch it up a little bit. After, if you need to. But there you go. And you're getting a curl. You get a curl. And, um, let's see. There's a few little straight pieces. Try to. Okay. So then you would take this and start rolling it. Just rolling it like this. Rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, and it makes like a little palm tree. Once you get that middle piece, you can hot glue it on a circle of cardboard if you want, and then go flat, and then just start moving it along the bottom. And um, that's what you shall get. Now to make this, you want to take a piece, longer than this of course, with your alcohol ink and put a piece of double-sided tape on one end, on one of the long ends. Okay. I'm going to, once again, take this and alcohol ink side I want to hump up, so I'm going to go right down the middle, just give this a quick melt. Then you're going to take the tape and you're going to remove it. I have an end up here somewhere where we started. Okay. And fold it. There you go. So it sticks. You've got this. This rounded folded edge. You're going to take that. Take your scissors, I can't find my fringing scissors right now, and it won't work for this one anyway, because this is going to be about a quarter of an inch, a little, maybe even a little bit bigger than that, maybe even five eighths of an inch wide. I'm going to snip it and fringe it. You don't want to cut all the way through, you want to have you know, at least a quarter of an inch along the bottom. And so I'm going to cut them about the same size, all the way down. Just eyeballing it, which is fine. And you're going to end up with this. It's like a big double sided fringe. See that? Now I actually use these, you know, the harder part of the bag, you can cut those off, but I like to leave a side on and use that for my starting side. And I take my hot glue and I put a little bit down there. And then I'm going to fold this over on it. Don't burn yourself. Don't do this at home, kids. You have to use a lot of caution. I'm assuming that you, you know what you're doing with your tools. Um, if not, if you're a kid, make sure mom and dad do this for you. Then I'm going to put some glue on top of it and a little bit here. And I'm going to roll it. So this is going to start my bow. myself. Yeah, I'm trying to pinch it so it rounds out and it's not flat. But you see what's starting to happen here is we're starting to get this shape. I don't know if you can see that. It's starting. This is a much smaller piece because I'm running out of chip bags. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing because they're not going in the landfill. 
but uh, I really don't need to be eating all these potato chips. Good thing we have kids around. But I don't want them eating potato chips all the time either. Okay? So. And that is a start to that bow. And you will just make more pieces as long, large or small as you want, and you just keep building on it, building on it, building on it until you get it the size that you want. Now you do end up with a long, quite a long piece here. As I go, you're going to have to keep some of it. You don't have to keep all of it. I take my scissors and I'll cut it down. And you get this little coil. And don't throw this away, kids, because uh, if you uh, paint it black or use the slate alcohol ink and put some uh, metallic colors on it, it looks like a watch um, spring. So you can use that in your crafts. You can hot glue that to a tag or something. So then I will add some more hot glue to this after I've cut it down. And then you can use any kind of uh, scrap, there's a piece of scrap uh, cereal box. Glue it down. And there's the base to keep building on it. So once you get it started like that, you just keep building and you could you know, go for a different look and start adding this and go around and around and around and uh, you'll come up with a pretty bow you just keep rolling them around very easy to do very easy um, if you want to say I wanted to add to this one you can't see the cardboard anymore but it's obviously you see how it's become flat on the bottom I will just continue to add to it by adding a little hot glue. Make sure that the good side is going to show. On the up. I don't want to burn myself. And what I will do is keep hot gluing and moving it around like this. So I'm going to kind of pleat it almost like this. And that keeps it flat. And I'm working on a heat resistant surface so I can press it down. And um, you just keep going, 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 going. And um, you can make these bows as large as you want. I mean, you can really, if you keep going, you can really make some stunning package decoration. And if you don't want to have alcohol inks, and you, you know, the silver alone can make a beautiful bow for a wedding um, gift. Just, you know, keep them round. Then you can hot glue them to uh, the package. Or if you leave a little bit out, you can staple them to the package. Um, I have some other bows that I want to make. And I also am coming up with um, another technique I think you'll really like to use in journals. Um, if you'd like to see more of these crafts, please let me know. Thank you for viewing, and I'm sorry this is such a long video. Bye-bye.